Today with chapati, zucchini on the table. We're gonna cook it three ways, on the grill, on the teppanyaki, and in the oven. So, whatever you have at home or outdoors will work great. It is the best way to eat zucchini, the one that I like most of all. Actually, I make zucchini lasagna with this zucchini. But today we're gonna make two sandwiches. Delicious, let's go. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Zucchini three ways. The first thing we're gonna do is wash and slice our zucchini. I slice it with a mandolin. This is the easiest way to cut it. You can cut it into thinner slices or a little thicker slice. Any way you want in the mandolin. It is great. Place them onto a bowl, add a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt and some herbs. You can also do this on the baking pan if you're baking your zucchini. But we're roasting, baking and grilling. Some of those are oil, salted and herbed in a bowl like you see here. On a pan, you can actually add the oil to the pan first. We're now going to place all our zucchini on a teppanyaki grill. And it is amazing how to cook here. It is on medium heat. And what we do here is that we add our previously oiled and salted zucchini and add a little bit of herbs and pepper on top. We cook them for about two minutes on one side. Check one out. If they're lightly golden, then turn them and cook them for about another couple of minutes. It takes about three to four minutes total, depending on how thick you've cut your zucchini, but otherwise it comes out perfect. Once they're golden on both sides, then pick them up and put them on a plate. Then you can save them or use them. You know, they keep great refrigerated like this for up to three days. Just cover them. Now to these you see on this plate, I added some of that delicious umami sauce with miso. Now placing them on a baking pan. Here, you can also season them first, or you can just drizzle your pan with olive oil, a little bit of herbs in the bottom and a pinch of salt, and then do the same on top. Bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit convection for about 20 minutes, and check them once or twice before so that you're sure that they're not burning. If you've cut them really thin, they might take a little less time. On a barbecue grill, I use one of these pans so that it makes it easier for me to pick them up from the grill. Once they're lightly golden on both sides, turn them like I did and they're done. Now we're gonna make a couple of delicious bites. So we have some toasted homemade bread with, I have some feta cheese on top. You can actually use yogurt if you want or you can use any favorite cheese that you like. On top, we're gonna add our zucchini and our grilled onions. They are delicious. A great bite before a meal or just an afternoon snack. For a whole meal, I'm taking a whole slice of buckwheat bread with some kale that I added a little bit of olive oil and a pinch of salt, some chicken that I had cooked the day before, and then I just added the zucchini and the grilled onions. So you can make Great meals with things you've made the day before or two days before. And zucchini is one of those that is fantastic the day you cook it and a couple of days after. Zucchini is very easy to reheat. It keeps perfect for about three days in the fridge, maybe the fourth, but it's great. The ones that I use for the sandwich, I reheated them in the air fryer for about 35, 45 seconds. That was it. Perfect, beautiful, and delicious. Delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy! Chef Pachi.